Hello, it's Sansa67 here, and I haven't made a video. Oh, I just got a text that distracted me. Um, I haven't made a video in I don't know how long. My last video was the Call of Duty 4 video I made, but today I have something a little different. It's Fable 2, which I actually went back to today because I was looking through my games and I just I was thinking I haven't played this game. What was it over a year now? So I decided to go back to it and play it. Here, I think I'm going through some marsh. I don't remember the name of the place, which I probably should have remembered. Now, if you've ever played Fable before, right now, what I'm doing is I'm looking around for those annoying little gargoyles that sit there and, like, muck you with that, like, accent or whatever. See, there's the gargoyle. I found it. I found the gargoyle. It's 11 to 50. Done. But, yeah, I thought it was in that house. I didn't really know where it was. Um, Yeah. Pez is still on YouTube. Um, he hasn't made any videos lately, though. I'll have to talk to him. I'll have to get him to make a video. Um, if he does, I'll annotate it somewhere in this video or the next video. Hey, look, a benchy. Oh, my God, the, ben the benchy's going to kill me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, I guess this video is more if you've played Fable before than if you've never played Fable before. Because, basically, I don't really have time to explain everything that... I'm doing and all that. Right now, basically, my strategy was to slow down those little things the Banshee summoned to attack me, and then use the AoE fire move to kill it, and then just target the Banshee with the fire move and kill it. And I didn't think that that fourth level of that fire move would do that much damage to the Banshee, but apparently it did, so I'm pretty happy about that. That Banshee was a lot easier to kill than I thought. Um, and... Also, when you first opened this video, when it first started, and it showed my pause screen, um, the amount of money I had, I had like 5 million gold or however, whatever kind of money it is, but um, that's because I haven't been on this game in over a year, and I own basically every single property in this game that's in Bowerstone and everywhere else that's not in the place I'm going to now, and I was kind of confused as to why those things didn't try to kill me, and also as to why I had a halo over my head, because I didn't think I was that nice of a person before. Also, when you haven't been on the game in a year, your person turns very fat, and that bothered me. And when I started playing this game, like in the beginning, actually it might be somewhere up here, I got hurt, or get hurt, no, I got hurt, yeah, it was in the past, and I had to eat a pie, and I felt so bad eating that pie, because the pie made me so fat. Actually, it didn't really change at all, because I think I'm as fat as you can get. But I still felt so fat, and those things died so easily. Sorry for ADDing every two seconds and stopping what I'm saying, because I'm watching the video. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. See, I did it again. But, um, yeah, I decided to make some Fable 2. I'm getting Halo Reach when it comes out, so when that comes out, I'll be making videos for that. Yay! Cataclysm, I'm almost done paying that off. Actually, I'm not, but I have the money and I'm gonna go pay that off. But, um, then after I get that, I already have, like, $10 down on Black Ops or something, I don't know. So I'm gonna get Black Ops whenever I get money to get it, because I don't know if I'll have enough, because I don't have that much money. Um, but, yeah, I'll get those games as soon as I can. Um, I don't remember what else I was going to say. Um, oh yeah, Reach. Um, one thing I'm really happy about in Halo Reach is what they've done with the Forge mode and Forge World and all that. It looks insane. It looks amazing. But one thing I don't think they did that I was so hoping they would do is make it so you can summon grunts and elites and all that in Forge mode. That way if I'm just bored by myself, it can be like a sandbox game. I can just sit there and build stuff and then build an army of grunts and send them at me. And that would give me hours of enjoyment out of the game when I'm just bored as can be. But I guess that's what Firefight mode's for. Oh, wait, I wonder if you can make a forge map for a firefight. Ooh, you probably can. That's probably really cool. And I don't get it. Those ghouls die so easily. But no three headshots or whatever that was didn't kill it. Wait, was that a harder one? Because it looks like he just died. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm trying to check my, check my text. Ah, I can't speak. Um, this video is 14 minutes and 11 seconds long. So, at 17 minutes, 20 seconds, I think it is, I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm going to make a part one and a part two, and I'm going to make this a two, 
video, two versions of the video, um, part one and part two, a two-part video, yeah, that's what I meant to say, two-part video, got it, yes, um, also, Germany Cobb, if you're watching this, you never respond to my messages, we gotta do that dual commentary, accuracy, I don't know who you are or why you joined my party that I was in with Pez and someone else, okay, you left immediately, I didn't remember that. Um, oh, look, another 8,000. See, that's how much money I get so easily. That's how many properties I own in this game. If you don't play Fable, then in the game, you get money, like, you can buy properties, and then it's like an investment, and you, if it's a house, you can rent out the house, or if it's a business, you just get money from the business, and you basically just get a small amount of income per building you have, and that's one way of making money if you don't feel like sitting there doing the blacksmithing thing, waiting for the little thing to go back and forth and land in between the little arrows or the, on the bar or whatever it is. As I said, I haven't played this game in a year. Also, right here, I'm trying to figure out how to reconfigure that spell bar or those five spells that go up the side because when you hold in the B button to charge up a spell, it'll just keep going up and you can't really choose what spell out of all of your spells. It has to be on that predetermined spell list you can do. But I was trying to figure out what button that is, and I did not remember exactly what button that was because I hadn't played the game in the year. And here I'm just thinking, oh, I'm just going to kill the Banshee. And no, I kill all of our little minions, yada, yada, yada. And now I'm just charging it up. I'm a charging my fireball. I'm a charging my fireball. I'm a charging it. I'm a going to blow its face off. It died in one hit. That is amazing. 200% experience. Yay, awesome fight. And here, I'm sorry for like all the little going off-road things. And I tried to not do that much because I knew I was going to make this. And I didn't really just feel like it being a lot of just me walking off the side of the road and all that. Um, but it looks like part one is coming to an end. There is 20 seconds left. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I'll annotate part two when it comes out. If the annotation isn't there, that's because part two is not out yet. I'll have part two hopefully up later this week, maybe even tomorrow if I get to it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.